Welcome everybody, welcome back to the Real Tough Round Table. I am excited as always and as usual to be live here on the Real Tough Round Table. I am I'm Jeff Anozier, in case you're just meeting me for the first time, and I am a realtor. And on this group, the basic the on this uh, on the realtors round table the goal is to help realtors like me all right you know so that we can have some form of um of of networking of um learning experiences etc etc i like to start today's section with this quote consistency is a, is a cheat code for greatness consistency is a cheat code for greatness just to inspire you this monday evening welcome as always once you jump on live please type hashtag life in the comment section and let us know where you are joining from just type hashtag life in the comment section and let us know where you're joining from so for me i could type hashtag life enugu as we learn today today we're going to be learning from one of the best internet marketers i know one of the best internet marketers i know is going to be teaching us how to build a highly converting real estate sales funnel that's what he's going to be sharing with us and as a matter of fact i know if you hear sales funnel it may be it may sound like a vague or something abstract you know like is it a funnel you know however he's going to break down what a sales funnel is and then you you would see by the end of the class that you've actually been you've actually been using a sales funnel, but you probably did not know it's a sales funnel. So long as you you the the step the number of steps or processes you moved from when you went to talk to somebody about a property to when the person buys, that process is called a funnel. That's a sales funnel, right? But today, Joshua and Buy is going to be showing us how to leverage the internet to build highly converting sales funnel please again once you jump on this 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 this, uh, this show this live show please type hashtag live in the comment section and let us know, know where you are joining from excuse me and let us know where you are joining from if you're watching the replay please type hashtag replay and let us also know where you're joining from welcome madam tina live from Enugu. Good to have you, Madam Tina. Good to have you in Kiroka Onu. Good to have you here. Good to have you, Promise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In a moment, we're going to be, be kicking off. But before we go on, for the sake of those that are just joining us for the first time, I'm just going to run through briefly what we do here in the Real Talks Roundtable, what the Real Talks Roundtable is about. And then, of course, you have not missed a lot because most of the trainings are still recorded the recordings of most of the trainings are still in the group all right so the real round roundtable basically is a support system you know is a, a space where we learn we teach ourselves and we share as well i've been learning i don't know about you how many of us have been enjoying the sales the the um, real round roundtable how many of us have been learning have you learned anything at all if you have let me know in the comment section please put your your favorite emoji in the comment section let me know if you've learned anything so far at all so basically accountability we provide accountability for each other you know if you've been coming for the offline trainings you understand what i am talking about if, you, if you're coming for the on-site trainings you will understand what i'm talking about we share resources of course we share um resources with each other you know as you'll be seeing this evening we are here to grow help each other grow and generally to network with each other you can't usually you can't uh, it's it's you can go you can go fast alone but if you really want to go far and sustain the tempo going with a team is better if you want to go far far and sustain the tempo going with the team is better and those are the things we try to provide in the real thoughts round table so basically it's online and on site online is on mondays like this by 8 30 pm we converge here 
to talk about real estate, how to market real estate, how to sell, and how to, you know, to stand out in in the in the industry. All right, no matter how far or how near, like if you're a newbie or you've done this for a long time, this is the right place to be. We also have an on-site um, training where we we'll meet on where we we'll meet on Wednesdays, and of course we discuss real estate on-site and marketing as well basically we also help you get started in real estate we've talked about mindsets we've talked about work ethics in this group we've talked about work ethics how your work ethics help you grow and we broke down a schedule a normal work schedule like a day schedule and i gave i gave us an assignment how many of us have done our assignment last week last week i gave us an assignment i told us to to monitor your your week or your day every 15 minutes just try and monitor your day every 15 minutes and see at the end of the day what you spend your day more on right that way you can i mean if you're able to um, observe you can know where time is leaking and where time is not etc etc so basically those you know these are the kinds of things we talk about in the real talk roundtable we try to talk also about mindset how your mindset is either making or mind your real estate business and generally we're talking about marketing marketing is actually what will dwell more on because i understand that most realtors don't sell because they don't understand how to market and that's part of why we're having tonight's class if you're excited about tonight's class already please let me know in the comment section put your favorite emoji i will put the flex emoji let me go put the flex emoji in the comment section if you're excited about what you're learning to, you're going to be learning tonight please put your favorite emoji in the comment section let me see so basically we're going to be talking deeply on on marketing you know and how you can leverage the internet especially to sell to sell now this is coming from um someone that went from being a novice as at last year to becoming the top realtor by the end of the year right last year from novice from the scratch not knowing what to do to becoming the top realtor by the end of the year and of course i've gone ahead to do some very interesting things in real estate that of course I've, I, I've not gone so far all right but from going from i'm going from a novice to a, a top realtor in 12 months i mean there's something to be said right and that is part of why we're here now there are three things you need to succeed in real estate for those that are just joining the industry you need a product that's a property to sell genuine properties to sell you need a buyer and you need a means of communication today we're going to be talking of that means of communication and how to get a buyer basically because once you once you have a means of communication you'll be able to sell to as many people as possible all right now before we go on i'm going to basically just talk about the product right now now this show this um, the real talk roundtable is free as you all know but it's, it's brought to us by a headline sponsor um, the owners of Graceland Estate in Ugu. And I just want to use this medium before I call up call up our guest speaker tonight who is ready and ready to give us, to show us one of the... He's, a, he's about to show us how to build high converting real estate sales funnels. And if you know Joshua Mba, you know that he's a heavyweight in this industry. He's a heavyweight in the online industry and he's about to show us how to build high converting sales funnels. This is as simpler than you think, especially when it's Joshua Umbada is sharing it with you. But before we go on, I just want to remind us uh, for a, a lot of us that are already marketing um, Richland Estates that the promo price is going off this month, this month and by 1st of first of of september the estate is going to seven million naira the estate is going to seven million naira by the first of september just a quick reminder of course we're going to drop all the other information in the whatsapp group as we go along so ladies and gentlemen are we ready are we ready for tonight if you're ready for tonight let me know in the comment section type i am ready in the comment section if you're ready for tonight as we learn how to build 
a high converting real estate sales funnel how to build a high converting real estate funnel if you're jo joining right now please type hashtag life in the comment section and let me know where you're joining us from ada welcome ada welcome to the very agu francis good to have you here welcome ugu Messi. good to have you here as well as i call on to do victory good to have you here Tinedu said, I am ready. Sir, Joy, Joy, good to have you here. Joy said, I am ready as well. As we call on the one and only Joshua Mba. I'm excited already. Um, okay, I think our guest is still trying to. Amazing. Amazing. D Joshua Mba, good to have you here, sir. Thank you very much. And I'm super, super excited. Thank you, Mr. Jeff, for having me. Thank you, the whole community. And thank you. I mean, literally, everybody in the building right now are related to us, right? And thank you guys for having me. I'm very excited and also pumped this night to share with you people what Salesforce is and how we're going to use Salesforce to improve your business as real estate. Industry is concerned. That's what we're going to focus on this now. Super, 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 super fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. We can't wait, sir. So, your the floor is yours, boss. All right. All right. As, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate this. Uh, just to show you, I think I would like to. Am I even seeing the comment section? Oh, I'm seeing the comment section. Yeah, people are ready. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I'm sharing my screen now. I don't know if you can see my screen. Um, just let me put it up. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. All right. Cool. So today we'll be looking at everything sales funnel for real estate business. Um, this is my. Um, I think my second time of teaching Salesforce here to a virtual real estate community and it's amazing, amazing what you can do with Salesforce here. So in the next few minutes I'm going to start, probably I'll just pull up my headset. Yeah, I'll pull up my headset so that I can really yeah, connect with you guys. Okay, so we're going to really discuss in depth what Salesforce is. I'm going to take my time to start from the basics. But at any point in time, you're probably not going to, you're not hearing me very well. Yeah. If you feel like I'm, I'm rushing, like I'm very, very fast, you can probably also indicate in the comment section. I'll be looking out in the comment section for you all. Yeah, people are ready. So, um, so we're going to start first of all by doing a basic introduction. I'm going to walk us through first what sales funding is and how we need to approach it as really does and i'm going to show you also i'm going to show you guys a couple of stuff i'm going to tell you what i'm going to show you this night first of all i'm going to show you everything that has to do with real estate everything that has to do with funnels sorry from step by step i'm going to show you step by step what you need to do from the one okay the um, now Josh. i'm going to show you guys the winning funnel you should be using for your real estate business that's number two and number three i'm going to show you my secret framework that I use. Can you see my voice is I'm going to show you guys the secret framework that I use to build high converting funnels. All right, just be sure now. I hope my voice is not going again. Um, okay, cool, cool. Mr. Jeff says not going. So I'm going to show you guys these three things. Then I'm going to show you guys also. I'm a system. That you can use to master funnels that will be the last one i'll talk about i basically for the past few months anytime i show live sessions i always don't go beyond one hour while teaching but maybe i will go beyond one hour this night i hope so i feel like i don't know if if i should say it's young age or what but later i noticed that my strength doesn't really let me go beyond one hour to speak for a long time in the live session but let's see how we are going to do it this night I hope i believe go help us first of all um, i'm going to start by first telling you that everything you need to know about setting up sales funnel like a pro and using it to generate revenue for yourself in automation of course funnels are basically automation i'm going to tell you more about it but let's just continue so i'm going to start by saying time and review that wealth is built upon the exchange of products and services and i'm very very sure that 
Mr. Jeff and the other people who have been able to manage this community must have also told you that there is no way you build wealth outside having a product or a service and value, right? There must be an exchange for a product to someone that needs it um, between the product owner and the basically the consumer of the product. There must be an exchange. So if there's no exchange of product services and value, money won't be made. So we can literally say that money is directly proportional. Money is directly proportional to value. Money is directly, is directly proportional to product. Money is directly, directly proportional to services. If you have a product and service, you are going to make money. If you have a value to offer, you're going to make money. Without these things, money can't be made. We can't exchange money for nothing. Money must be exchanged for something, no matter how little the value is. The smaller the value, the smaller the money. The smaller the product in value in the context of value, the smaller the money. So there must be an exchange, and that is what I did. That means that for every kind of wealth that must be created, there must be an exchange of products and services of value. And if that's so, um, this is first of all, two things I'm going to first of all talk about. So I'm, we're going to have like three sections in between. This should have been a bootcamp series, but I don't know. I'm going to run a bootcamp in a few minutes, but I hope I'll be able to do um, justice to this. So, but first of all, in the first section of this, we're going to learn, uh, you describe everything you need to know about for the as it concerns your own business. In this context, real estate, um, I will unlock the process of choosing a software to deploy your product online. These are the two things. Um, I'm going to focus more on this part um, of um, the, the whole trend, right? Now, also, you also discover my secret framework in the section two. You discover my secret framework that I use personally to set up sales processes for very um, process very fast for myself and clients that generates non-stop sales. Also, you're going to get my support system, right? In, that, in the next section, that the second section of this bootcamp, we could when not the bootcamp this time. You're going to um, have access to the support system. I have invested a lot of resources to make sure that you have that you will never have any problem, struggle, or even waste time again to make money selling any product. And this product now we are talking about this night is properties, 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 properties. So you're going to use my support system. So what I even did was after 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 teaching you this night, I have the support system that will help you afterward because I'm not going to stay here with you every single day to walk you through. Probably I will not even be in your house. I'm going to give you access to a support system that is going to guide you through um, while you're running your business with Salesforce. So let's make a commitment. I want you guys to make a commitment with me. I want you to make this one. I say, I commit. Everybody read what's on my screen to yourself. Wherever you're watching this video right now, I say, I commit. I will go law in. Once I discover that this marketing model of Salesforce can help me drive unstoppable sales forever. Let's say it together. I commit. Let's go. I commit. I will go all in. Once I discover that this marketing model called Salesforce can help me drive on some sales um, forever, that's the power of Salesforce. What Salesforce can do for you is that you're going to transform your business and unlock on stoppable sales because this time is going to happen on full automation. So if you're making sales as a real estate person or as a realtor rather, uh, before now you're going to unlock on that dimension. Let me use the word dimension of sales um, for for yourself. Okay, for yourself. Just to be sure, I hope you guys still insane. Um, and you guys can also hear me. All right, so let, let's let's get in real quick to the menu. So I, I went all in when I started up many years ago. I started selling products and services in 2014. Uh, when I discussed sales funding, I started making a lot. That was when I started making a lot of money online, right? And I'm going to walk you guys through that and can see some of my results. I don't like doing this publicly, but see some of the results we we'll do 10.4 million. I've showed it to my, my, my students a lot of times. Some two is one of my students. I started making sales and he used it for his own business category, which is still applicable for your business. I was able to close 12 orders that day, 19 orders that day. And these are six figure products he was selling. And this time, basically, real estate products are mainly from seven figures in a book. I'm going to talk about it too. But he was able to use it in his six figure business. And this is another person, Taz, who applied the same results. I mean, I have a lot of those stories to tell you, but I'm going to skip all of those people, um, those testimonials from people who have used sales money to drive massive sales for their different kind of businesses. And that's what we're also going to talk about this time. But I want to tell you guys a little fundamental. Anytime I want to study about something, I want to give you guys context. 
anytime I want to study about something, anytime I want to learn about something, I always go to the grassroots. I want to understand the origin. How did it come about? My my my, my greatest mentor, who for who of course is my dad, my biological dad, always taught me that if you want to understand something fully, you go and look at when it was first mentioned and where it was last mentioned. Right, the first and the last time it was mentioned um, in the context of scriptures and the Christian. So uh, that's the same thing that drives when I want to study a subject matter. I would like to look at where was it first mentioned. So on October 27, 1994, the very first online ad was placed on, on the site. It was called Banner Art. Because today, when we talk about sales funnel, we are basically talking about selling your products and services online with full automation. I'm also going to break that down for you. So there's no way you want to do sales funnel fully without having to leverage on some automation tools. And if there is going to be an automation in the process, that means it should be plugged to something that has to do with an online system, right? Somewhere, 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 right? Okay, good. So, uh, and uh, let's talk about marketing online because we are going to really start diving into marketing online, which is like the core of funnels, right? And so let's talk about the very first time ads was mentioned. Where was the first time that ads was used online and it was in 1994 that's the best we can trace back from history it was on 27th october that was like um i was born in october however 29th october um i won't tell you the year but that was like two two days off the date for my bet and whatever year it was right yeah so basically I, and look at look at it they paid thirty thousand dollars just to place an ad on the website as at 1994 1994 now look at the results the result was 44% click-through rate for the ad. 44% click-through rate for the ad. And basically, in our own, uh, today's average is the same as 0.05% in, 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 in conversion, uh, which was which is not totally bad. I mean, that was the first time it was ever used. And I mean, people really, really were still trying to get used to the whole online marketing and banner ads. If you guys know what banner ads is, example is the picture beside this. You see where they wrote forty percent of that basically like a banner ad, right? Now let, let's now. I, I just wanted to give you that information as a context to what we'll be doing this night. If you can still hear me, type. I can hear you in the comment section. Now there's this guy called E Saint Elmon Lewis. E Saint El Elmon Lewis is he is the father of sales funnel. You know, so when you want, like I told you guys, when you want to master a craft, go and look for where it was first mentioned. Who who used it first? Who developed that system? And this is the great man who developed the sales funnel uh, marketing model. Of course, sales funnel is a marketing model. Those who don't know, and I'll be teaching you guys. I, I, I mean, I'm going to go in depth on it, but I just want to teach you guys a little part foundation. Uh, and so, so most amazingly, because of the competition and complication in selling products and services online, marketing became a case. So people started studying marketing as if it was a course. People started to study marketing as if it was it was a program. People started to study marketing at um, as a major skill set, it became a center as a science. And people are trying to uncover the mystery behind marketing because a lot of businesses understood that without us doing proper marketing, we can't drive sales. So, because of that, this man, St. Elmon Lewis, is like researching how can I better marketing for myself, for my business? How can I better this process? How can I develop a framework that will work in time and even out of time? In quote, Anytime someone should pick up this framework, what, what is it that will always, always work every single time? And this was done many, many years ago. So he developed a system called the Sales Funnel. Initially, it was not called Sales Funnel, it was called the AIDA model. All right? I'm going to break that down for you. I want you guys to understand the whole context so that you appreciate the whole, the whole reality we're going to talk about, right? The AIDA model, right? If you can see, hear me type, I can hear you in the comment section. Okay, you guys can hear me. Amazing, I can say. Now, the AIDA, the AIDA uh, 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 model, marketing model, was initially the name and later on it was called Sales Funnel. I mean, it was called a lot of names. At some point, it was called Conversion Marketing. Some, at some point, it was called um, Conversion um, Purchase Something, Sales Purchase or whatever it is. And today, we know it as Sales Funnel. It has really, really, really like gone through a lot of things to answer different names at some point and today we call it sales funnel and today i want to introduce this concept called sales funnel that was first developed by this great man elmon lewis and the next question you want to ask me is joshua what is sales funnel so we are going to look at it from two directions and i want you to pay closer attention because at this point it's going to get a little bit technical 
for just a little bit. So you might want to sit tight and probably take a sip of water like me. Right. So the journey in which a product owner takes his dream customer through from the point of awareness stage to the point of continuously buying their product. That's what sales funder is. So of course, I'm gonna tell you this. Um, marketing is a, is, is a journey, right? It's the same way you drive someone from point A to point B, that's what marketing is. And uh, in the context of sales funding, what we want to do is we want to drive someone from the point of getting aware, emphasis, awareness of our product, to the point of buying our product. So it's a journey. So first of all, in your mind, know that sales funnel is a journey marketing itself also which is sales funnel is, which is a type of is a marketing model which i've told you earlier on sales funnel is a marketing model is a marketing model is a marketing model is nothing so supernatural is a marketing model that works every single time why is why is projected in our time is because it is it's, it's a marketing model that works for zero budget little budget big budget any kind of business it works that's why it's one of the projected marketing models in our time and uh, i mean it's also works on full automation okay so uh, so that's basically it but the new generation of sales funnel in our context and i mean then it was just moving someone from the point of awareness to buying product but in, the, in our new generation um, um, funnel in our time now there are certain things i want to just lay emphasis on but one thing i want to lay emphasis on is that this is a journey number two is at the awareness stage is basically like the longest stage all right you can see the notes under that under there right the awareness stage seems to be like the longest stage i'm going to show you guys something very real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. yeah it's basically the longest i'll be showing you guys the real funny design and then the number three thing i want you to note now is that they have to buy and be retained sorry i made a mistake in that um in the retain retaining right they have to buy and be retained quickly correct that right they have to buy and be retained right uh, and th that's what I'm going to explain more in this picture right now. So, I mean, this is the IDA funnel, uh, the IDA, AIDA um, system, which is, of course, now called sales funnel. But because, I mean, it has, well, it has like gone through a lot of phases, people have called it different names. For example, the first stage, people, some people call it attention. So, in this picture, you're going to see it attention. I intentionally use this picture that has something um, different. Um, the desire there, some people call it the decision. Right, so it has really gone through several naming conventions, right? So, but first of all, the very first thing I want you to understand is that the first stage, which is the awareness stage, is where you get people to know about your product. So, I'm going to tell you guys a very little story that put you into context. How many of you remember? Let me know the Gen Zs and you know those who are not Gen Zs in the building, basically, right? Like, let how many of you remember that time that was years back, right, in Nigeria when Nollywood releases a new movie. You will see them carrying a car. Probably still do it in a bar now. I don't know. I've never grown lived in a bar, but I feel like it's the bar vibe. They always tell us about about things, right? <laughs> they will take a, a car and then on the generator, put a speaker at the top of the car, put a screen at the boot at the back of the car, right? Very probably TV screen or something, and they'll be like, "Hey, game, game, game! It don't happen again, no! It don't happen again, no!" Um, probably. Just to be sure you guys can hear me. Can you guys see hear me? Can you guys hear me yeah. through the conversation? Cool, cool, cool. So they'll be like game, game, game. And on that movie, don't show Mama G has finally killed this person. Oh, buy your copy now, buy your copy now. You remember that time? I probably they still doing it. I don't know. So if you remember, I mean, I explained this in way when I was growing up. So that was basically awareness they were doing. Remember, awareness is the loudest part and the most powerful part of the funnel, which is the attention grabbing stage. So, aka is awareness power you get people to know about your product, aka is where you grab people's attention. So, you want to be as loud as possible, right? You want to be as loud because if people can hear you, then they will look at you. People can't look when they can't hear you. If people can hear you, then they will look at you. If they can't hear you, they won't look at you. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. Yeah. If they can hear you, they'll look at you. So if you even discover now in some in some shops in the marketplace, they will always put someone said they see do it. They will always put the speaker in front of their shops. Some people will put, I mean some public services will put the speaker in front of their shops and they are playing music 
they want to just draw attention hey there's a shop here or there's something here you need to look at so when you're passing you hear music and you turn around and look at the shop that's what they want to do they want to grab your attention it's attention grabbing so the question is will you be willing to do the job the job the dual for health job starts with the attention grabbing the awareness stage the awareness that people need people need to know People need to hear, people need to experience, people need to get aware of your product. That's the first stage. The next stage is the interest level. So what you want to do is that when you have called my attention to your product, when you have told me about your product, hey, this is just somebody I said property. People already know you're a real estate person. They understand you. They can relate. They know you have properties to sell. They know that there's a property in Nugu State or there's a property in Graceland Estate or wherever estate it is. They are, they are, they are aware now. The next thing is you want to develop their interest. How do you develop interest? Tell me more about the product. So if I was going to let me use something a little bit abstract to explain it so that I'm sure you guys relate more. My voice is echoing. My voice is echoing, please. No, it's not echoing. My voice is echoing. You probably cannot no, it's, if it is. It's okay. It's okay. It's not it's not echoing. It's okay. Okay, cool, cool. My voice is not echoing now. Uh, okay. It's not echoing and we're good. Okay, cool. My voice is cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, so, interest. So, I was about saying we are going to use something a little bit abstract to explain the interest level, which is like the second phase of the funnel. The funnels, right? My network is lagging a little bit, but I hope it's cool. Now, interest phase, you basically want to spend more time telling them more about you. So, let's say I, I meet someone. Um, I wouldn't want to use this example, but let me look for something cool, right? You meet someone for the very first time, right? You, you meet someone in, in a meeting or something or somewhere. I tell the person, hey, my name is... And I, I tell you, hello. Uh, let me see someone in the comment section. Let me look for someone in the comment section. Let me look for a name. Okay, there's Jacinta in the building, right? And I tell, hey, Jacinta, this is Joshua Mba. How are you doing? I basically have just told you my name and I've got your attention. Probably you were sitting and you were... Let's say we, are, we, we went for a wedding, right? And we are sitting side by side. And I'm like, hey, hello, Jessica. This is Joshua. I just got the attention. That's what I've achieved. But if I don't tell you any of that, thing, you'll be like, oh, hello, this is Jessica. And you mind your business, and I mind my business, and nothing will ever happen. That's how attention grabbing awareness is. So I just got Jessica aware that Joshua is sitting beside her. That's the end of it, right? But what if I tell you, like, hey, Jessica, my name is Joshua. And tell me, hey, my name is Jessica. How are you doing? What are you doing here? Are you related? Let's say we live for child education, you know, or something. And I'm like, hey, do you know Mr. Jeff? Oh, yeah. oh God, oh God. I know him. He's an amazing person, one of the greatest relators of all time from the South East Nigeria. And we're going to talk about it, right? And I tell you, okay, I'm also a relator and I have XYZ stuff. And um, this special opportunity that we have. I mean, let me give you guys a, a typical example of how I use this. I'm using the physical context now to explain the interest level because for people, remember, there's this there's this framework in marketing called the KLT factor, right? The no like and trust factor. I'm sure you guys must have learned about it before now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, so I went to Lagos sometime last year for an award, right? I was nominated for a specific award in the international entrepreneurship industry. So I went there. So that day they were giving their what I was sitting. I like telling stories, guys. So probably you just managed me this night. <laughs> right. So and that night, um, that it was a night event, late evening event, I think around 7 p.m. or so. So I was sitting beside a young lady and who was who was representing a nominee also. And we started, they started the show and all of those, you know how award nights look like they do all of those plenty, plenty dramatical stuffs and sing a lot of songs, zoo artists, and all of those stuff. So while that was going on. I turned to my right and I was like, which I do every time when I go out and I meet new people I want to associate. And as a marketer, as a business owner, you want to do that every time. As a realtor, you want to do that. When you go out, no matter where you are, you want to connect with people. You want to ask them, hello, my name is Joshua. You want to ask them questions, get their contacts. You will never know who will buy the next people party around you. That's the honest truth. So you want to associate. Me, I do that every single time. So I turned to a very young lady who probably would, I would in my mind say, um, she really doesn't have a lot, maybe she doesn't have money, blah blah blah. blah. I just said all of those stuff. Sometimes I say, How are you doing? So I chose myself and I told her, I didn't even tell my basically, I, I, I basically will not even have a lot of time starting everything I do. So I was like, Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. And I asked her, Do you have you ever? So she told me she was also into online business. So I called a very popular name in the industry. I said, Do you know this is so and so person? Like, Yeah, I know this person. I was like, Okay, that's my business partner. 
I was like, oh, really? I said, yeah, that's my business partner. So if you know anybody, you should also know me. So I put up my phone and I showed her my name on Facebook. I showed her some of my videos on YouTube. She was like, oh, are you this guy? I said, yes, I'm this guy. And I asked her the next question, what do you do? Which is always an uncovering question. It's a very simple question that will change the whole conversation. Simple yeah. question that changes the route and the direction of the conversation. And this is a lady. So no matter the gender. So let's say I'm, as a guy, I'm speaking to a lady. They, as a young guy, they feel like, oh, you want to collect her phone number and probably do all of this stuff. But once I ask you, what do you do? The whole conversation changes. Sometimes when I when I ask that question, people's expression will change. And I'll be like, oh, I've asked a very uncomfortable question. I'm like, what do you do? She said, um, I've been trying to do e-commerce business and it was not working out for me. I've tried a couple of courses and I was like, I'm not so sure. And I smiled. I said, oh, in my mind, I was like, I've come to... A perfect clinic center for your so, to get a solution. I was like, oh, this is me now. So what I did now, you know, I closed and I pitched up for my training. I had the e-commerce program. I was showing businesses, e-commerce business owners how to drive more sales. So, ah, you don't need to worry about this. So I thought, asked a couple of questions to, to so we call it the diagnosis stage. As a market, I'm telling you guys, one of the things I want to also use in funnels. I'm trying to develop interest, interest in my product. That's what I want to do. I thought, okay. XYZ, XYZ, XYZ stuff. Remember, let me rewind back for those who didn't get the whole gist. The first thing was the attention I introduced myself. The second thing was the interest. How I validated my interest was to show her my person, what I do. Do you know this mm. business? Do you know this person? I said, yeah, that's my business partner. Oh, I called some names in the industry. Do you know this person? Oh, that's my mentor. He was like, oh, really? So that was to develop interest. I wanted her to develop interest in me. That to see me as someone of value. I wanted her to see so the next thing when i put up my phone and showed them my face on facebook and showed them my content my timeline like wow that was enough for me to build her interest so whatever i was going to tell her afterwards was to prove to her that i'm a person of value and anything i tell you right now is something of value that was it so i developed my interest she was not keen to listen to me talk so she wasn't listening to another regular guy who probably would just want to you know have a regular conversation but i've already changed the equation so i need to build that desire for my product so to build that desire, I said, ask her specific questions about her business. So how many sales do you do in a month? What is it that you're finding more difficult in your business? How to sell online? I don't ask, it doesn't work, she was saying, or like, okay, no problem. So what if I had, so the next thing I will ask you, I will not even tell you, hey, I have a course for you, I have a program for you. I will ask you, what if I give you a system, a, a program that will show you how to do X, Y, Z stuff for your business and that will help you increase your sales? Would you want to have it? It's a very simple question. And the obvious answer is a yes answer, right? You want them to affirm that yes, okay. And now I'll tell you now, I have that solution for you. And this is what I did in the solution. I will explain it. What you are trying to do is you want to build their desire. You need to build them up to the point of, oh, I really want this. So the more I'm doing that, I'm also asking you questions that will give, that will become like an affirmation for both of us. They're going to say yes. The more you say yes in our conversation, the more it's going to be easy for you to buy my product. I'm teaching you guys a little bit of advanced stuff now. The more you say yes in my conversation, the more I know that you're going to buy my product. The more it will even be easier for you to say yes to when I'll tell you to buy. So you want them to say a lot of yes. Do you want it? Yes. Do you like this? Yes. Do you want it like this? Yes. Do you want it like this? Yes. Do you like this kind of thing? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And you're going to buy my product. The more yes. So find a lot of ways to even remove no, 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 no from, your, from the whole conversation, from the whole equation. So the more positivity you have in the conversation, the more easier for you to do. Sorry, I'm diverting a little bit, but I want to explain funnels thoroughly for you guys. Now, when we start building that funnels, you really begin to understand these things. Now, the next action is to buy. I want you to buy this, and this is how you're going to buy. I'm going to pay SIZ of a amount of money. That was how I closed the ledger. This is like a physical conversation section. And this is exactly what happens in funnels. You are going to literally translate this thing I just said now to your website. That's it. There's no supernatural difference. I mean, there's nothing so um, different about the whole system. It's just the same thing. But what we want to do is that because Joshua can't keep going to everybody everywhere. Hey, my name is Joshua. I introduce you to sell just one product. To sell just one property. I mean, that will fail me. How will I be able to cover a lot of grounds? That means I can only do one sale anytime I have a conversation with someone. So what if I can multiply myself to many people? What if I can become, of course, we are not gods, right? But what if we can have this omnipresent effect in yeah. our sales process where I don't need to come every single time to have a conversation with Mr. Jeff to tell him to buy my property, but I can sell my property even without meeting Mr. Jeff and something's going to stand in for me. And what will stand in for me is my website and my sales page. 
I'm going to explain those things for you very shortly. So let, let me, let's push on a little bit. I saw, I'm very excited. I spent a lot of time explaining this part. But let's look at the types of funnels, right? The types of funnels. Now, there are different types of funnels. Now you understand what funnel is, sales funnel is. And like I said, it's, it's a marketing model. Don't forget that. Always remember that it's a marketing model. Just always put that back in your mind. Now, we want to look at the types of it. What are the types of funnels? Funnels that we can use. But meanwhile, I won't fail to mention again that Anytime you get funnel, always just put automation beside. It's almost like it's synonymous with automation. Sales funnel. When you have funnel, sales funnel, always put it. If there's no automation, there is not sales funnel. Sales funnel would want to remove you out of the equation and replace any other thing that looks like you in the equation so that you don't need to stress yourself. So basically, you should be sleeping and the sales should be coming in. In that context, right? Right, so you don't always need to interface with the whole process every single time. You build it up, plug it in, and it begins to work for um for you. I think um there's a little issue with my power supply. So um, Mr. Jeff, just give me like five minutes. Let me switch over to um, my secondary power supply. Just a few minutes. All right, guys. I hope I hope you are enjoying this. If you're enjoying this so far, let me know in the comment section. Are we flowing so far? Are we flowing? The whole idea is to help you figure out ways to automate your sales process so that you don't have to go all the time from door to door or from person to person. I was talking to some people lately and I told them that I don't I don't I don't talk to people one on one. I don't even know how to how to talk to people one on one. I have no idea right because i have a system all right and joshua is trying to show us a system we can use we can leverage on you know so that we don't yeah john said sure the class is coming up it's coming it's coming with great value beautiful the guy um uh, uncle chooks dr chook said yes learning who said yes learning okay priscilla priscilla said yes she's learning so where have i been all this while okay obina obina said where have i been all this while it's good to have you here sir <laughs> right please i mean if you're if you're enjoying this so far please put the fire emoji fire fire or the oko emoji in the comment section the things you're learning tonight sincerely they are they are something they are something that a lot of people don't know about you know and it can help us automate our process imagine if you can have yourself selling online right without actually being there to multiple of people multiple times a day and can i said can i said i came i came in late but i don't get value so far <laughs> welcome can good to have you here good to have you here please put the fire emoji in the comment section if you're enjoying this so far right so the goal is to is to help us help us automate our processes and here's a secret guys this is a secret if you learn this you can apply it to any other business any other thing any other thing that in fact that is it any other thing and a sales funnel not, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be technical and have to be all um, all all techy and a programmer or something no you don't have to be that all right you just you just need to understand how the flow is see that a i d a you know formula basically just understand that how to grab attention how to develop interest how to you know build desire and finally how to make them take action that is what the sales funnel is i can't believe i'm saying you know right so basically that's it welcome madam landlady madam landlady in the building welcome ma. welcome priscilla priscilla good to have you here all right welcome 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 right so joshua is back and we will go on so please pay rapt attention we're going to be we're going to be taking questions at the end of the class so please just you know arrange your questions or drop them in the comments section as we go on learning about sales funnel yeah thank thank you mr jeff sorry sorry for that little you know in between yeah um the 
I just noticed that, in fact, just when I came back, I noticed that I've not even gone like quarter of my slides. Yeah, I think I have I have 62 slides. I think I'm just at 13. And the rest of the slides are very powerful slides that will really take me a lot of time. And I just, I'm just going to get the time, it's about 47 minutes in. That means I will obviously spend more than one hour at the slide. So we'll do it. Don't worry, guys. We'll do it. We'll stretch it. So there are different types of funnels. Let's start by talking about this one. Um, the lead generation funnel. The lead generation funnel, um, the content funnel, the webinar funnel, the core booking funnel, and the service sales funnel. So literally, right, we have a lot of funnels, a lot of it. It's just that I, I, I want to spend time talking about this one, this for this um this night. Well, we might end up just touching um one to three, three of it this night. And then we'll, we'll probably, probably proceed from there, right? Just to show you guys can hear me, let me know in the comment section. I was seeing a lot of fire emoji. Fire emoji always gets me energized, right? So I, I am enjoying the fire emoji in the comment section. Um, that's beautiful. People are already getting value. That's great. So I, I'm taking my time consciously to break this thing down. I would have really, really skipped it. I want you guys to understand it. If you understand it, you are really going to appreciate when it comes to building the funnels. So I, I would have just gone straight to start dragging and dropping stuff on your website. I want to take time to teach the fundamentals. So we have lead generation funnels and I wish I had the opportunity to draw, make a schematic. Uh, lead generation funnel is, a, is one of the most powerful and compulsory funnels that you must know as a marketer. Even if you don't know how to use other funnels, well, you must know because it is the center of customer acquisition mm. every business that attracts customers whenever you want to use sales funnel must go through the lead generation funnel you must generate leads there is no way you are going to bypass that protocol you might even think that you are bypassing it but you're obviously using it let me give you an example a webinar funnel is a lead generation funnel so a lead generation funnel is like a parent funnel but has a lot of subsidiaries and most of the other types of funnel are plugged to lead generation core booking funnels are lead generation funnels so sales funnel are lead generation funnels too content funnels are lead generation funnels what these funnels focus on is to drive new leads into the system i'm seeing plenty of emojis really really getting me energized thank you guys <laughs> for that yeah so um, um so so lead generation funnel is basically a funnel that focuses on acquiring new customers to your business acquiring new leads leads in this context is basically customers acquiring these guys so it's, it's like you you put out a radar system that goes out and start looking for people hey who are my customers where are they where are they to see mr jeff to pick mr jeff and bring him in to see joshua to bring joshua and bring him in to see madam landlady their head she's in the building and bring her in you will see the center and you bring her in you see every other person throwing fire in the comment section you bring them in right that's basically lead generation for you and this night i want to start i'm going to start by talking about lead generation first right i spent a couple of minutes talking about lead generation first and then we begin to juggle that a little bit okay basically before i go to you guys lead generation for let, let, let's let's talk about important things we need to to it's one of the things we need to set up a sales funnel. I'm going to be a little bit rushy this time because there's a direction I want to take now. Why we I'm going to spend time to teach you lead generation funnel, but before I do that, let's look at this part. What do you need to set up a funnel for those who is basically their first time? I'll go back to the previous slide to explain those stuff. And um, like I said, um. Can you still hear me? Is it my network? If you go for please, guys, if you, if you can still hear me, please let me know in the comment section. If you can still hear us, please yeah, type one in the comments. In my network. Oh, okay. Oh, oh beautiful. Sorry. Okay. Welcome back. Can you hear me now, right? Yes, I can hear you now. Cool. So you're going to see me talk about lead commenting and all of those stuff. I'm going to talk about lead generation, lead magnet, and all of those stuff. I have a special section for it, but let's look at what you need to set up a funnel. So we're going to look at domain, hosting, page designers, and other things. I'm going to speak. So basically, if you don't know what the domain is, domain name is basically 
the name of a website. So if you go to um, www.badjoshua.com, you're going to see my own website. I probably, if you go to, I think Mr. Jeff's name is jeffanose.com or something like that, you go to see Mr. Jeff's website. That's basically how it's, it's, it's being powered, right? You buy your domain and hosting. There are different platforms. You can buy this, you can buy it from Namecheap, you can buy from any other. I basically use Namecheap, so it's like my first recommendation to people, namecheap.com. Um, I don't know, but that part is something you're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you're going to learn how to do that part, to buy the domain. For those who don't know how to buy their domain and host, something you can do for yourself, or it's something you can pay someone, I mean, agencies that build out websites for people. My, my agency does that anyway, to do for you. But if you want to do it yourself, I'm also going to show you later on to the end of this, in my support system, how you're going to learn how to set it up for yourself. Page build designers are, designers, pages, um, page designers are tools you use to set up these pages, your lead, your landing pages, your sales pages on your website. I'm going to show you guys an example of these things very, very shortly, right? I'm going to pull up. Um, some of my pages and I will show you how it works, how it looks like, what it is and you know how to be on some of these amazing things, right? Now, other tools you can use is your email marketing tool. So for example, I use, I've used a lot of email marketing tools and I'm going to talk about them very, very quickly. And we'll do a, probably we'll have time to do practical this night. I'll try and do a practical session and build out something for you guys. To think, I mean, you guys can build out stuff. Um, you can use Aweba as an email marketing tool. I've used them for a long time. I mean, it's one of the tools I use for a very long time. I use them for a very long time. And I've also used Systemy also as my email marketing tool. Systemy has a lot of features inside, but I use their email marketing feature um, often. Um, I've also used GetResponse, but I really didn't spend a lot of time using GetResponse. But more of Aweba and Systemy. Uh, the other tools you can really you might want to explore and not that are, that are there but these two are the ones i feel like i've used and i really enjoyed using them and you too can use them um the payment gateways are if you're gonna if you're gonna receive payment but this contest has really taught us it might not be receiving real um, uh, property payments online which, i mean it's not so so advisable to receive it through a payment gateway i would even recommend that to a certain level um but we'll talk about that as we continue but if you want to i mean you something can also integrate on your website you can use any of the um stripe flutter wave or paystack and receive payments across africa and outside africa if you're using if you're using stripe okay so let's do a little bit practical section um basically now i'm gonna i'm gonna try to show walk you through um behind the scene of a funnel yeah i'm going to pick out i'm going to share another of my screen very soon just shortly 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 and i'm going to show you guys behind the scene of a funnel okay let me refresh this page now um so jeff i'm going to share another of my screen and i would like you to also um uh, put it out there just a few minutes guys i'm trying to share the screen so i want to do a little a level of practical section for you guys um, to walk you through um, something very amazing. I want you guys to see these things yourself. The, 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 if you see it, you appreciate it more. And I'm, I'm doing this for those who basically, it basically might be your first time, right? If it's your first time, I want you to get familiarized with it. There are some persons, obviously, this thing won't be so so new to you, right? But for those who are going to start seeing these stuff for the very first time, I want you guys to really, really get acquainted with it. So let me share this. Uh, I'm sharing my screen, Mr. Jeff. Can you just let me just put it out um, there for people to see? Okay, you, if you can still hear me, let me know. Sorry that my energy dropped a small a little bit, right? And um, obviously, shoot. Yep. Uh, let me know if you guys can see this. Yes, yeah, you can see this. So, this is a sales page, right? And I just want to walk you guys basically through this. Um, when you talk about funnels, I, I was also going to talk show you guys my mapping stages. I just want to flash these things to show you to, uh, maybe just a sneak peek into what we will continue doing very shortly. Um, so this is a sales page. That's what we call it. This is not a sales funnel. What you are seeing now is a sales page. The sales page is part of a funnel. And I, I told you right earlier that what you need for yourself is you need a domain up here where I'm hovering or that's my domain name, badjoshua.com. And then the next thing after that slash is like the page name, 
you need a domain, you need a hosting to have this kind of page. This product, this page is promoting a product and it's a DFI for e-commerce people, right? Now, it's already designed. This page is a sales page, which is like where I'm putting my marketing message. So remember the example I told you where I was, I was having a conversation with a lady and I was telling the lady about my product and services. That conversation will not happen every time that I want to sell a product to someone. So I have to put my message in as words that they call it aka sales copy you put them as words that's your sales copy and then you lay it on your website like this in a way that it will appeal to the customer so someone can easily come here and click on the buy button and pay for your product okay and pay for your product sorry for that um, page error and pay for your product without even you interface with it. It's linked to stick out payment gateway. So that's why you're saying stick out here. And this is stick out payment gateway. I'm personally will pay for your product. Now, I told you earlier on about the sites you can use um, to buy your hosting and domain. This is a site for those who are asking Namecheap, you might want to explore later on um, Namecheap.com. And this is a sample of a sales page that I just showed you guys a um, few minutes ago. So basically, Basically, what, what I want you guys to know, okay, Josh, and I talked about Josh. the page builder, right? So, if you notice on this screen, there's a page builder here. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. I was I was just wondering if uh, I can show you, show them a real estate landing page I built. I was just wondering if I can show them a real estate landing page I built. Maybe. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You can probably just yeah. stop the screen. Okay, let me just quickly show... Um, uh, probably to help them relate some more, a bit better. Exactly. Well, of course, I'm going to be that one this night. However, sir. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Quiet, but yeah. let me just show you guys briefly. I'm not as good as Josh, anyways. But <laughs> this is this is a this is a, a property. Can you see my screen? Let me know in the comment section if you can see my screen. So this is this is exactly one of something he was saying about his sales page. So I built out a page for this such that if somebody lands here from an ad, from an ad, they can just see this is a Graceland landing page. This is a Graceland estate landing page and then sales funnel. So own a piece of land in blah, 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 you know, scroll down, click here. Once they click here, it sends them to my contact or to a page where they can fill out their names, you know, and contact and send me their number, you know. So here, why Graceland? So it's kind of like me me talking to them like the example josh gave about him talking to the lady and walking her through you know building interest and you know awareness you you understand so the type of title documents you know ease of access so that it's kind of like every information they need to know about this product in this case now graceland they can actually just see it right here so i don't mean to interrupt you i just wanted to show them a very practical um uh, a real estate because some people will be asking oh how can this relate to our, our property business so i guess this works does this make sense guys let me know in the comment section if this makes sense so someone can just click here you know or call this number to speak to a consultant in that case me you know and then all the payment structures that we have if there's any you know just basically like a walkthrough on what they get when they actually then there's a frequently asked question part you know they click and get the information you know those kind of things um yeah so i thought that could help um josh over to you thank you sir yeah yeah can you hear me now yeah i can hear you yeah, so basically, exactly. So thanks, thanks for what I mean. That was very great. That was a great stuff. Uh, um, it just give us perspective into that. So now, can you put on my screen again? Let's talk about how to build. A... So I just wanted to flash that in your face right now. We're going to build out one obviously. This time by God's grace. Um, um, are you share my screen now? Okay, beautiful. Yeah. How to build high converting lead magnets. That's where we're going to start from. Remember I told you that lead funnel is like the core, excuse me, is like the core is the foundation of every business. You want to drive leads, you want to drive new customers. And 
the chaotic factor starts no like and trust if people don't know you they don't like you they don't trust you chances are and there's a very big chance that they will never buy from you right so you want to factor out those stuff so one of the greatest way or the fastest way to build KLT very fast without spending a lot of time and doing a lot of stuff is to use lead funnels attract them people who don't know you and don't like it and don't trust you won't buy from you i've never seen someone buy something from someone they don't know they don't like and they don't trust to never unless you are probably hypnotized right <laughs> this doesn't happen so you want to clear up those stuff and the fastest way to do that is to use a lead funnel and then we're going to talk about how to drive lead magnet. So every lead funnel has a lead magnet. A lead magnet is aka something you want to give out to people in exchange for their information. How we know that you have acquired a customer is by the information you have about that customer. I was saying something on Twitter the other day. I've made a tweet about this. For those who don't know, I spend a lot of my time now on Twitter and I make a lot of tweets. I was even able the other day to do my Twitter in about how many days from 500 followers to I think almost 10,000 followers now. Um, in the space of uh, how many days? 40, 50, 60 days or so. I don't know. Wow. Something like that. So I, I did that intentionally because I was trying to. I mean, I was. I'm already bored with the Facebook vibe. I'm it's just personal, so don't like. I was very bored with the Facebook vibe. I wanted to explore somewhere very, very fresh. I mean, I love the energy there, and Twitter has a very powerful viral marketing effect, which I'll be telling you guys subsequently and how you can leverage on that as a realtor. I mean, it is a massive viral marketing effect on Twitter as compared to Facebook, I would like to you. But let's let just basically just continue. Yeah, so in building a lead funnel, you need a lead magnet. A lead magnet is aka, like I said, so what you want to give in exchange to your customer lead. And I was about telling you that I, was, I made a tweet that said, how we you know a powerful marketer is not by the number of sales you've done alone, it's by the number of customer data you have so you can do a lot of sales very good but who how many people are in your customer base these are people that you can sell to over and over again if i have fifty thousand people in my customer base that have, that, have, that have generated 50 million near weight and someone else has just two the difference is that i can even sell even if i keep selling one one era one one era um offer to these people over time i'm always going to the 50 million i mean if i if i have 100 percent conversion however so the bigger the customer database i mean the real customers not just you know people that are not buying buying i mean the buying audience the more i have them in my in my in my portfolio the more money i can make over time and what you want to do over time is to have a accumulation of this customer data you want to compile them you want to compile it and for you to do that you have to do something actually because i will always teach this so i'm for any part i want to teach i want to take a lot of time to explain it in a way that everyone even those who want to play back with little knowledge will definitely relate now for, for for you to understand that your personal information is powerful do you know your email and your name your email and your name what's a lot of money just your email and your name was a lot of to prove it to you that's exactly what platforms like facebook is doing and that's what other platforms are doing. They have your information and they are sending you to advertisers. Advertisers are paying to have access to you. That's how powerful your information is. Have you ever wondered why Facebook is 100% free? You don't pay, you create an account and you're shooting with your friends, posting pictures every day on their server. They are not complaining that you are putting a lot of things on their server. They are not even telling you, okay, to stop posting pictures today. Today, nobody should post pictures on Facebook. For over how many years, you've been using it, using their server, communicating, chatting, and you're not paying for it. There's no premium feature on Facebook that'll tell you pay to use this feature. No. Have you ever wondered about it? No. That, that's why they're giving you for free because they are collecting your information. And that information they have about you is as powerful as what it. I mean, you you, you that is you are giving them the information, you are not even feeling like you're giving them something valuable. But they're just doing their their, their lead magnet is to give you a free platform to chat and talk with your friends. That's their lead magnet, in exchange of your information. And what they they're, they're around you is that they are selling your information to people. But well, pay them a lot of money to just have access to you. That's what lead. In fact, Facebook is a typical example of a lead magnet versus a lead funnel. So their lead magnet is the app. The app shows you how you can. I can chat with Mr. Jeff in real time without paying, without spending money. You just have an internet connection, and they're collecting and digging my information. But what do you give to people in exchange for their information? If you try to just say, hey, let's say I just put my email and say, enter your email and, 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 and name here. 
like that. I mean, nobody would want to do that. I can't just give you my information like that for nothing. So I have to give you something in return. I can then decide to give you an offer. So lead magnets can come as an offer, can come as a presentation, can come as an instant value. I'm going to explain these three things right now for you, right? Can come as an offer, can come as a presentation, can come as a value, right? And then let's talk about the offer type. <laughs> So far, is where you give people or your audience. So let's say, for example, as a realtor right now, I'm going to give you guys a powerful secret. I've only shared it in like two places for realtors. Have you guys ever wondered how you can enter the market? I, I really want to become a realtor, right? I'm saying this public however. I'm going to become a realtor very soon, very, very soon. I'll be very good at it. This is a very, it's a public, what is it called again? It's a public declaration. And I'll be very good at it. I assure you guys, I'll be good at it, right? How do I know I'm good at it? Because I'm a child of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a child of God. So the way I lay my hands to do most possible, I must go where, right? I basically mm-hmm. that. So I, I'm going to be a very spar spa relator. I'm probably them I can speak in the top of relator, jargon, and all of those stuff, right? But basically, right now, there's something I know that you guys have envisioned and make a lot of money. I have only should share the markets. And I've been over under that. A lot of people in the diaspora, right, and a lot of people who buy properties that are not probably they are in Jamaica, they want to buy in Nigeria, they are in UK, US, maybe they are even in Lagos, but they want to buy somewhere in Port Harcourt or somewhere in Inugu, and you know, they, they're not so quick traveling up and all of those stuff, and they want to trust somebody that they can give money and pay through, and a, a company can pay through and buy a property, I mean, it's process probably with that issue. Have you ever wondered? So things that go through their mind. Let me give you an example. So imagine this. Let me ask, let me just tell you guys a little story that will explain this a bit funnier for me. So imagine I come up now with an offer and be like, I want to give you guys. I mean, I'm creating an offer now. This is me selling an idea to you people, right? I mean, you should, I mean, I should collect offers now. But I do this. <laughs> I want to start giving you list of hot selling properties across in Google State, and when they have massive discount. That's what I'm going to create my my offer. I want to send you a list every week. Even if I make it, even if I charge people for this, I'm going to pay. If I charge people every month, they're going to subscribe to my whole selling property list. Whole selling property list across, I can do across Nigeria if I have contacts across Africa. If I can do across a state or a particular region. Let's say, let me use the new book state for example. I want to, and I run an ad to people in a new book state, and I can get high profile people in my ads, right? I say, I want to send you a list of hot selling properties in the state, legitimate selling properties in the new state, when they are first released and when they have massive discount, so that you can get access to it in real time. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm going to collect, let's say I'm, I'm a realtor for for um, Graceland, right? There's a Graceland estate, right? Or something, I don't know. But any estate at all, I don't really know a lot of their names, but whichever estate it is, and I know that um, but let's say, for example, should I call, give me a real estate company, G- GTEx Homes, and P1, uh, where are the horizontal, right? Now, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm a realtor with, with GTEx Homes, right? For example, and let's say GTEx Homes, they have like 50 different estates across Enugu. I don't know, but I'm just giving an example. And I know that anytime they start, you, know, you guys already understand the whole storyline of when. A new estate is launched and what goes on and when the price increases you, you guys know that better than I do, right? Now, I'm telling you that I'll be giving you information. Remember, the offer, the perfect sneak peek of this offer is that I'm going to give you the hot selling ones that are in strategic locations. Number two, I'm going to tell you when they are in massive discount because I want to buy it when it's slow. Everybody wants discount. Yeah. Everybody wants discount. See, I'm telling my idea to you people now. You people now go and use it. Shy, shy, shy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, that's a powerful idea for an, for an yeah it is, it is. I, I was in my room and i came up with this idea and i'm, I'm obviously i'm going to use it myself and for me i can tell you guys what i can say right now in this call is don't rush to go and start sharing it out there to a lot of people so i don't have a lot of business probably you guys are just <laughs> for yourself and make money for me right i mean i'm be cool with it i was willing to share it only to you people i've only told one person this idea before now if i do this and i find it what i'm going to do is that i start firing them so in every week my goal is to find whole selling properties and these are the things that will do for me number one thing is going to do for me is that they want to buy from me 
Number two is that they will, I'll build automatic trust because I'm giving them yeah. information yeah. about this, them giving them anywhere. And nobody is doing this. Yeah. I can tell you, I've never seen someone do this in the real estate industry. Mm. I would just say, please give me your email address and your name, your best email. I want to deliver this information every week to you in your email. I will send you the name, the amount, the discount price, the picture, and the link to a video to watch. This is mm. crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. And I've sent you varieties of them. You like two plots of land, one plot of land, you like something close to waterlogged areas, you like something close to the heart of the town, you like something close to industrial places, blah, 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 blah. You categorize these things for them and send it as a newsletter every single week. For if I do, if I tell you that, pay me 5,000 naira every month and I'll send you this every month, you can renew your switch of people are going to pay. Even you right now, you're going to pay. For me to give you this kind of offer so you can even make the low ticket the cheap oil offer 1000 naira every month subscribe to get the best deals in real estate properties in the new state no one do the whole of nigeria because it's going to be a lot of work for you right focus on the region it's going to work out fine target those people in those regions target people who have interest in those regions create um, um, um materials links put out links in specific areas want to get hot deals in the new state property no matter the company join this Join this email list. Join this email list. Join this. If you want to see what people that want to come and spy on you, put an amount to it. Right? Put an amount to me. One thousand naira. Maybe very low tickets for one thousand naira to join the list and get all deals. And when they are, remember emphasis when they are a massive discount. When there is a ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent discount, probably fifty percent discount depending on the property. That information you will quickly give me your name and email. Right? If you didn't learn anything that in this night, I've sold an idea to you that you can replicate with a lead form. I should have. So what we'll do is after this session, eh, Mr. Jeff will collect the offering <laughs> and then uh, all of the seat feet are tight and fall to me. <laughs> this premium of wisdom. Of course, of course, we will. We will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 no problem. So let's continue. So basically, that's what you want to do your offer time. I'm just, so there are possibilities to this game, right? A lot of possibilities. The only problem that I describe people have when it comes to building sales processes that work is your ability to think, mm. creativity. The goal, everything, yesterday night, just to give you guys context, on Sunday evening, I left my house to another place, my friend's place, probably a co-founder. We are both founders of a company called Blockchain of Africa. And we do that every time, now and then. We have a time we meet together physically and we, we work all night and build out amazing stuff. So last night we had just I'm just I love telling stories. I told you guys, so guys there with me. So last last night when I went, I mean we walked all through last night this morning. I came back to rest by 4 p.m. for this class. I mean, I've not really like had a very nice sleep. Okay, so so when I went, we have, we had we have a new product called the Bima suit, right? Uh, time for me to really tell you about the products, right? It's something that you will never need. It's not in you, it's not in real estate, so it's not something you manage, right? So I won't bother telling you about the product. <laughs> so, so what we did was we had the product and we we're looking at way to do the launch of the product, right? It's something that has to do with the blockchain and has to do with developers on the blockchain. So I'm sure there's no web three developer here, so it's really something you would not want to hear, right? So we we're looking for how are we going to launch it? So they said we should just do a waiting list. They say we should do waiting list, and I came in and I was like. Do the waiting list is so 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 big. I mean, just put, join the waiting list, and I, I mean, we are not going to get the energy, the traction, the data we want to get even before the launch. The goal was to get thousands of people stand by. We replicated that same effect using stake cuts. For those who know stake cuts, right? It's because of one of our new companies about two months old now or so. Um, we've done it amazing stuff with stake cuts. However, now what we did with stake cuts was before the day of the launch, we already had over 3,500 users on standby before the launch date. Mm. We were able to raise that number. So immediately after the launch, we had people rushing to the application. I mean, in less than a month, we had over, in less than a month, we had over 10,000 users. Mm. Right now, we have thousands of users on the platform. We are less than two months. We are less than two months old, right? Less than, way, way less than two months. We have thousands of users and have done a lot of volume in transactions. But we are able to build the traction and the, we didn't just be the waiting. In fact, we did not per se be the waiting, waiting, waiting list. We use the waiting list effect to build traction for the product launch. And then, what I, this, let me just share the strategy we use. We use a strategy where we are giving you value to hold you down for the product launch. So what we did, we created a content, a program that was showing people how to leverage on 
um, product distribution network, aka affiliate marketing, to make money for themselves. We taught them all of this and provided a, a full fledged program. Uploaded it then, then it was first at um, what we talk, there was a platform we used to upload it, um, Teachable. Yeah, Teachable. I had the videos right there, and people went, went through it. We engaged people, people were willing to stay around and wait for the launch while they were busy learning. Learning. We built a lot of people, we built capacity, that's value. And that going to drive so we give often value we give often value so when then, when we came last night they were like you're going to use it i was like what what was with it it was so big so i started asking questions and these are questions that when you ask these questions it begins to open up possibilities for you and the same first question i asked them we were in the room and i asked them the question i was to lead the marketing process and i asked them one question the first question i asked is what problem is our software even solving let's define our problem in one sentence let's define it we know we have built an amazing product that is doing amazing stuff beautiful stuff but what one problem is our product solving what's that one problem sorry guys i'm giving it to be but these are things that these are things uh, yeah where's the value section okay i'm gonna show, i'm gonna show you guys this thing. i just want to see some of the things i have next what is the major problem our product is solving that's question number one sorry i'm debating them but i feel like this is going to be valuable for you all right the next number two question i asked them i told them who exactly again is our target? It's the basic question you probably know. Who again is our target audience? They said they are developers. And I asked, what are the things developers would want to engage with while waiting for a product? Hmm. And we began to mimic and begin to think like developers. I asked a developer in the group. I'm also a developer. I asked another developer. What is it that if I'm going to launch a product now and I can keep you busy with it and you'll be willing to commit to stay busy with it and wait for the end product? We began to ask questions. People begin to say sneak peeks, sneak peek into the application. We would say uh, behind the scene access to the software. People want to use it first and have behind the scene access before the launch. Developers always want to try out stuff. We begin to stop it. We were seeing a lot of things and now bundled everything together and we now developed a, a unique waiting list process for that product which is so unique i can't even replicate that for another product so there are questions you begin to ask yourself and begin that will make you start thinking like your customer that will make you mm. begin to the possibilities you can affect don't only just go up and say put your email list i want to sell your product people want no people know that the people are selling landed products everywhere and like i said if you don't break the factor of klt it's literally going to be difficult for you to even make a sale especially when it's not virtual when it's not especially when it's not physical we're trying to sell online is a whole different ball game. People are skeptical. They just are yeah. scammers. People are unsure. True. They want to build this trust. And unless it's a physical contact, I mean, physical contact can really break a lot of objections, right? But now you want to use funnels, you want to do this properly, right? So I would say it's time for us to retreat because if we're going to build together, for example, now, if I'm going to build together, I'm going to use this concept that I showed you guys to attempt to build a lead funnel with you guys this night, right now. I hope it's going to work out fine. I, I'm going to try to do that. Well, that's where I might, might even end this section it? because I feel like this is one of our tattoos. My body's already doing summer, summer. And I need is to rest. It? Big time. I mean, since yesterday, I've been working all night. Just is it? Of that. So I, was, I, was, I was going to ask, uh, Josh, is it yeah. possible that we have a part two of this? I sure, sure. We can, we, can, yeah, well, we, can, we can have a part two. I very yeah, busy guy. A very busy guy. And bringing you here all the time is going to be a lot. I'm just wondering if we can have a part. There's a lot to unpack in what you're saying now, and so that we don't, yeah, we don't uh, rush it out, miss out in the main gist, you know. <laughs> yeah, so we can. I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can walk around that. We can have another section where you can see me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, we can. We can have another section where. I will basically have to come back to like explain these things, like continue from where I stopped and explain more. So I had to take a lot of time. I didn't know I would stretch this Fine. long. Basically, like Fine. my slides, still a lot of things to share and a lot of <laughs> slide demos. I, I mean, I have to do slide. I'm seeing a slide 19 of 62. <laughs> That's a lot. Let right? me find out. So I felt like okay, I was guys. even going to like cover it all up, but I wanted to just explain each concept step by step. But let me know in the comment section if you guys. Yeah, should, should we go on? Everybody should we go on or should we shift on to the next? Do you have any questions? Are we flowing? So, sorry, sorry, I didn't hear you, Jeff. What did you say? So I was just asking if we should go on. I'm asking uh, our view, the guys in the room, realtors, should we go on? Should we break it into another section? Are we enjoying the class so far? Let us know in the comment. Please fire on kisley said please fire on um who else let me know in the comment section guys should we go on are we enjoying this so far sincerely i, I don't even i can't even believe 
Josh is sharing all of this for free. <laughs> I'm taking, I'm taking um, his time like this. I, personally, I'm enjoying the class. I'm totally, absolutely enjoying the class. Um, um, enjoying it seriously. Majid said, enjoying it seriously. Majid! Majid, it's good to have you here. Um, John said, yes, please. We can go on for maybe 45 minutes. Wow. Some people have energy. <laughs> Josh okay. is getting exhausted, so we're not going to go that long. Yeah. <laughs> Say he's massive and deep. Yes, Kinsley knows the value of this stuff. He's also an internet guy, so he knows the value of this. Uh, let's have part two. Someone said let's have part two. Okay, Josh, I think it's all in your court now. The ball is in your court. We're enjoying it. Personally, I can go for another one hour. But I know that you 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 don't have that much of a time. Yeah, we cannot even yeah, unpack so, so, so it. We'll do, eh? can, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yeah, can so what we we'll do eh, is I know I have a lot to share. I won't lie to you because I really do have a lot to share. And basically I should even if I go back in my slide, um, let me just give you guys context. Is my voice breaking? Is the network cool? I feel like I'm not hearing. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, yeah. We can hear you totally. Jeff, can you see me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, cool, cool. You can, can see you. me already. Yeah, so um, I have a lot of this slice, but I'm just going to say, yeah, plenty of it. I have a lot to share with you guys. Um, and I want to do that with you all this night. I really want to stay for long to do that. And but why I'm going to stop now is that I want you guys to digest this thing. Maybe we're going to have another session where I will show you guys how to build out this idea, put it to life, fleshing it up, scale it, plug it into an automated process, and then start using it, right? Uh, one of the reasons why I'm willing to come to this um, platform to share with you all some of this amazing information. I mean, these are some of the slides I'm even using. In fact, the whole slide sequence I'm using is basically like a paid slide stuff like I use for some serious, serious trainings like that. Um, why I'm willing to come here to share it is because of how much I value Mr. Jeff. He's a very good friend of mine and I really, really value him so much. I like him. I love him. He's a very great person. And I've been following him for a long time, basically. This is not like my first time. Or it's not even like a recent stuff. I've, I've been following him even before he got to know about me. I've been following him. Oh, He's wow. a great guy. And I really, really admire him. I admire the great stuff he has been doing in the industry. So I was willing to like show up and share this thing with the community because I know it's his community and I want his community to to excellent stuff. I have a lot of fun in the real estate industry. I feel like I'm not even started, but when I start, my name will be heard. I will really do some good <laughs> stuff in the industry. <laughs> yeah, this is like a boosted man. I'm, I'm not always cool making boosted man, but when I do make it, I, it means I'm all in for it. So I will, I will live up to that boosted man. But basically, that's what we're going to do. So probably we might end up having a tough, more conversation, probably in different physical real estate stuff, gathering, right? You guys are going to see my face in other places, right? I mean, it's going to be something we're going to do together. But guys, I, I just want to end by saying, um, um, saying a couple of things on the fire round off, right? Like I said, I have a lot more. To I'm not going to teach you guys about the big funnel. There's a lot more to mm -hmm. it, and a lot of other things I wanted to teach you about also. But I just, I'm going to end by just sharing a couple of stuff, like basically. Um, of course, I would have spent time to even say you guys my program. I have a program on sales for the program. We can just, just talk about it very quickly, which I really didn't even plan to do right now. We're going to skip past, past, past a lot of all this other stuff. And um, I have this program. Where is it? So, um, I mean, I've gotten a lot of validation from different people, right? So, I want to give you guys, I want to break down what is in my program and what you have access to. And if it's something that interests, I'm not going to like sell, sell it to you people. I'm not going to like sell, sell it. If I wanted to sell it, I would have built this page to sell this to you. But I'm just going to inform you about it. If you're interested to take it, you take it. If you're not interested, there's no problem. I'm really, really not going to push it to buy it, right? <laughs> I won't play any marketing stunts for you guys, but I'm just going to walk <laughs> you guys through it just for you to know that I have this for you. And if something you want to consciously take action too, you want, you want to take so and my program my success for the program which is like one of my programs music programs um will show you how to craft any kind of funding for any product service right do it step by step number two is also going to teach you 
how to take your own funny script so if you have a funny script that's your sales copy and design to a real sales page like the sales page i showed you i'm sure you guys love my sales page very beautiful right yeah, yeah. so uh, i mean a lot of things i'm also going to show you for those who don't know how to set up their, their website there's a web design program there we can buy your hosting buy your domain stop the website without coding and i mean full flesh do it yourself if you don't spend a lot of money pay someone to do it for you um and of course you get a lifetime membership to funny account club this is like um the full pack of the program uh i think it's about 150k but uh, right now the program is also about 30,000 naira. if you go on stake or this program is 30,000 naira right now so i can give you guys a behind the scenes access for 25,000 naira. you can just screenshot this but the amazing thing is if you buy this program this night if you buy my program this night i'm going to give you access to my facebook ad program which is currently sold at 15,000 naira as a bonus and i also give you access to my 5 million naira challenge program where i'll show you how to take action and generate 5 million using funnels for your business wow so, wow uh, it's something if you want to take you can take it just take a screenshot i'll probably remove this screen very soon take a screenshot uh pick the account details there if you want to and then if you that's my phone number there you can chat me up but the most important thing i want you guys to do for me this night yeah yeah i'm exhausted somebody said i should finish up to be honest i'm exhausted i won't lie to you i have not slept since mm. yesterday i only took a short nap before this live session and my head is still a bit a little bit shaky i would like to i'm not even like i mean eat it properly in quotes right so so to say that publicly but i've not even done that so i'm going to eat i mean take care of myself and take proper sleep and then i have a lot of work also pending for me for my company which i need to address and attend to almost like immediately so um uh, time time is a body for us i mean time is so short i i hope subsequently we have a lot of time to do a lot of things together and i'll be sure, of course i'll be willing to show up in your comments probably you should actually join the facebook group and you know converse with people but maybe inside you can add it to the group so that i can have okay yeah. it's but okay. what i want you guys to do for me is i love feedbacks right honest feedbacks i've been able to share some value with you sometimes i can get i my, my, my guess for some of you it's your first time experiencing me teach you for some of you it might not be your first time but if it's your first time i'm sure you got value and the only way i want to know yeah thanks for the first telling me sorry i mean thanks uh, um, um, the only way for me to know is if i get the feedback from you so i'm going to ask you for a big favor it's a big favor if you want to do it amazing if you don't want to do it it's still fine i mean i even have the salesman in the market i have a lot of things they won't show you before <laughs> so i mean so i'm going to put up something for you guys just a minute i'm going to put up uh my twitter handle if you're on twitter i will I'll love it a shout out on twitter if you're on facebook too i'll love a shout out on facebook i want you to write something about this night for me on facebook i want to read it uh on facebook so what i'll do is basically is to create show you guys my access give you guys access to my handle right my phone number right so i didn't prepare this part for now please guys um pardon me please doing this i thought i would have a lot of energy to like go a very long time but pardon me i'll come back again i promise we we'll can do a lot more together so i mean it's a great stuff that you guys are in this community at least on, on the on the basis of my relationship with um my relationship with mr jeff we are going to learn some of these things for 100 percent free of charge um, over time so you know we really want to be active in the community and i hope i'll be in the community very soon to connect to you all together again right so basically i'm going to put yeah. up the screen right now for you all and i'm going to share it so i didn't have a lot of time to design that so it's just going to come out there and that's that's my phone number i'm going to share very soon um it's loading up my phone number is in, that's my whatsapp number and if you're going to shout me up please just sign me up and tell me your full name and then tell me that you're coming from this live session that way i will like set you on high priority i have as i'm talking to you now i have close to a thousand messages from one thousand people that have not replied right i'm, I'm not even going to lie it's plenty and i don't know how to do i mean i get these messages every day and i try as well to reply a lot i reply a lot it's not like i don't even reply i reply a lot the day i can reply like 50 to 70 shots from different wow people. and you can imagine that so i do that a lot so i, I try to even reply it's not like i i make me effort but it's too much for me i can't contain it so 
if those things are strategic you can uh, you can actually employ me as your <laughs> whatsapp handler <laughs> yeah yeah but i mean uh, personally i feel like whatsapp is so personal uh, it's personal it's, actually i mean people yeah. want to connect with you in person and you know have that conversation with you, you know, that's true uh, that's it basically so that's true, for his own good his own we'll get i mean for those who have not responded, they probably would understand and I'm sure they were they must have communicated with me by calling me mm. on the way. Okay, so sure. that's my that's my Twitter handle, Mbaji Shwasi. I would I like you guys to give me a full on Twitter. I basically all of my content on Twitter is strictly on sales and marketing. I, I can tell you that my Twitter handle is is a textbook of its own. If you go through my Twitter handle, you can learn so much about sales and marketing that will help you transform your business. It's, in fact, I can tell you that my Twitter timeline is a course because if you compile everything there and turn it to a book, it's like a very mind sales and marketing book for yourself. So just go there, grab it, follow me, give me a shout out on Twitter. Tell me how you feel about this nice class. Tell me, hey, Joshua, about the real estate for blah, 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 blah. I enjoyed it. If you did not enjoy it, please tell me you did not enjoy it. I won't feel bad, honestly. I was trained to accept even negative feedbacks. If you did not enjoy it, felt it was a total waste. Call me out on social media and tell me, hey, I wasted my time listening to Joshua. I really don't mind that. Those things don't move me anyway. Right? So my feedback is for me to know how you guys felt about it. I really yeah. appreciate those honest feedback. And um, thank you, Mr. Jeff, for having me. I really do appreciate And I'm thank sure you guys got value. Just to be sure you guys got value. Can I get some fire emojis in the comment section? <laughs> Do we get value? I got value. So I'm going to drop my fire emoji like like crazy in the comment section. Thank you, Mr. Joshua. I don't know. Can we... I, I, don't, I don't know if it's too, it's too early to ask if next week is good, you know, to... If next week is good to have a part two of this so that we can just have a back-to-back. -back. Um, I'm just wondering, you know... Are you going again? Yeah, I was just wondering if next week is good to have this again, so we can just have a back to back, or or later we can talk about this, Hello, right? Jeff. Hello, Josh. Yeah, I can hear you now. Cool, cool. Yeah, cool. I was just wondering if next week, so that we can have a back to back, but it's okay. Probably you want to take your time to get back to me, so that we can know when next we're going to have you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next on, week. Next week. Yeah. Next week. Monday. Is it, is it on, on Monday? Monday 8 at the same time, yeah. Okay, next week Monday. I, I will have to verify that because I'm, okay, I'm it's it, okay. I'm, I'll verify that and give you feedback. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. That's fine, sir. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Please, guys, yeah. that's his WhatsApp number and follow him on on Twitter to get um, to get more value. If you have any questions, please drop in the comment section. I'm going to add Joshua um, in the group so that he can maybe when he has some time he can answer some of our questions and thank you so much josh i know it's a lot asking you to come here already and spend like one hour 30 minutes with yeah. all the this guy runs like three different companies and four yeah. different mini teams you know yeah. at the same time so it's a lot having you here josh we appreciate yeah. you so much i'm sure we got value please if you did please sure. put the fire emoji in the comment section there's a lot of fire emojis already sales yeah, sales it, funnels sales funnels are one of the single most important ingredients to making money online whether you are a realtor you're a business owner whatever you're doing as a matter of fact it's also a means you can also provide it as a service and make a lot of money so please rewatch this this section i mean rewatch this this section online if I, I tell people that if i lose everything god forbid if i lose everything today all i need to do is to set up a sales funnel and run ads to it give me a few months and i'll make some money that's it like it's it's i believe that this is a tool that we have in our generation that a lot of people have no idea that they can actually leverage to make a lot of money so thank you so much josh i appreciate tonight um we're going to let you go now so you can go relax yeah. and of course yeah. do other stuff for yourself thank you uh, thank you so much there's a lot of thank you uh, in the comment sections and uh, please let's have you back <laughs> right all right guys thank you so much for for staying this far 
um, I don't mean to waste your time. My goal for us is to share knowledge and help us grow. Help us grow. That's the goal. Um, these sections are free, courtesy of, of course, of the, the developers of Graceland Estates, you know, and Browdy Global Limited. Um, I'm sure you're going to watch this section again. Please watch it all over and over, you know, so that you can, you know, get the meat of this. We're going to have Joshua back. I'm going to inform us when we're going to have Joshua back so that we can we can um, continue this and con- conclude it. Do we, did we get value? so far if if you want to go ahead and get his course all right so, so that you can start learning and start implementing before the next time please i hope you took screenshots we're going to leave it in the comment section um Jacinta will leave his information in the comment section so that we can get that if you want to go ahead and get his course so that you can you may not want to wait till when he comes back the course is really broken down you know and knowing joshua as i know him he doesn't hold things back he goes all out right all right guys thank you so much for your time remember that this is the real real touch round table we will be back again next week same time same venue to have an amazing time uh wednesday on wednesday we have a physical section where we just discuss you know real estate um here in our physical on-site section uh please guys take 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 action remember there's not it's not hard it is just new i want to see it in the comment section please someone should type in the comment section it is not hard it is just new whatever it is you're learning right now is not hard it is just new okay i remember also that consistency is a cheat code for greatness consistency is a cheat code for greatness so, so whatever you are whatever part you are on just keep on going keep being consistent and I'll see you on the top. Enjoy a fantastic night, guys. And bye for now.